Hello and welcome to Big Dumb Numismatics. Today I'm going to be going over my purchases from the Central State Show in Schaumburg, Illinois, suburb of Chicago, and also uh, my thoughts on the show itself. So we're going to go in order of uh, coolest, or at least coolest to coolest. Uh, first off is this uh, 1945D Mercury Dime in a 2.1 holder. So this is the same generation as the doilies. And the coin is really nice. MS-65 full bands. Maybe a tad bit more. This is probably like, um, you know, maybe a gold cack shot that someone's gonna take. Um, uh, a lot of times, like literally every single time, there's one of these holders, it has some breaks in it. So if you come across one, uh, don't think it's like a fake or anything. It's just how fragile the slabs are. So these were made for only a couple months in between uh, Rattlers and, uh, you know, the actual old green holders. But just a, a cheap throw. Uh, next off is this really nice Mercury Dime in a Fatty. Um, toning is actually really, really eye-appealing. I know a lot of people don't uh, quite like this this type of toning. Um, but you'll see this a lot in, obviously, a, a nicer coin underneath. But the toning really bumps up the grades in the 7 plus 8 range. If you ever take a look at uh, PCGS coin facts... Just take a look through all the, the true views of some of the Mercury Dimes. But it's not brown, it's just a nice colorful touch. And the fatty is unmolested, so that's great. Next off is a rather nice uh, Steel Scent. 43S MS67 and a 4.0 fatty. There were uh, two, I believe, uh, a very single digit, very low single digit number of uh, MS 68s graded uh, with the fatties, and so far I've not been able to locate any of those um, if they aren't already cracked. But this one has uh, just really nice luster. There's no spots or anything, which is something you have to be careful with. Uh, any old holders on steel scents, if there's spots, um, I'd stay away, even if it is really cheap for the grade. And it isn't cameoed, but the profile is frosted, if that makes any sense. Reverse is really nice. And again, the uh, holder is unmolested. So all, all three of those coins have been sold already. And this next coin, I have been looking for this specific coin for uh, nine months now. I first saw it at uh, Summer Seminar last year, and I just thought this was incredibly eye-appealing for the grade. Um, it's a huge difference between six and seven. Uh, sixes normally, no cack, go for about $225 to $250, and sevens go for over 1000 And so I paid up for this coin. Uh, it's a personal coin, but just the luster and the eye appeal and the strike. So I paid $350, which is a bit much, but... I mean, the overall coin is great, and uh, definitely thinking about cracking it, which I will do if I ever sell it. But uh, what makes 1913 my favorite year for the Buffaloes is just how nicely it looks, um, how the fields are textured. I like the uh, raised mound better as well. I think it looks nicer. Um, the dyes are fresh. So you get all the detail you want out of the buffalo. And on 
the Native American head. You can just see the luster, even with my crappy lighting. It zooms about. So, thoughts on the show. Um, it was extremely busy. I was only there for one day, uh, and that was definitely not... Uh, a decent amount of time to properly look at everything. I probably missed a row just because overwhelmed. Um, I, uh, dealers were paying pretty strong for coins, but they were also asking quite a lot for, for the good ones. Um, uh, the fatties, it seemed like a few dealers were finally catching on that, you know, maybe people will pay up like, really strong Rattler prices. Um, that's not me, but, you know, I, I think that's where they, they should be. I think they're better than Rattlers. Um, gold was particularly popular. Um, the public was also paying uh, pretty strong as well. Paper money, coins, whatever. Um, so, it seems like... Um, the market is slowing down for the basic Morgans, MS6364, even the slightly toned ones, and common coins like that. But the nice coins, the seeded stuff, uh, even the really nice cat coins, those are, those are still staying strong. So, in the comments, let me know which coin was your favorite. Obviously, I'm going to go with this nice buffalo nickel. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a true view. So that's another reason to uh, send it back in. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. And thank you for watching.